This is the AMS Frozen Soil Kit. Uh, basically, this kit is used when you're still trying to take your samples in agricultural fields and you might have a frozen layer of uh, soil. Um, you've got a core barrel basically that has carbide insert, silver soldered into the tip. And then you've got a two inch diameter by eight inch uh, slot, sample slot to collect your soil in. Uh, this, this auger bit is typically driven with a uh, Bosch rotary hammer drill is what works best with it. If you don't have a power source available, you can also use a, a two-stroke gasoline engine. We have an Echo uh, 410 drill today that we'll be demonstrating with it. So basic components of the kit are your, your core barrel itself for sampling. You've got two one-foot extensions. Uh, you got a clean-out tool to actually eject, help eject your sample out, clean brush, quick connect pins, and then an important uh, Adapter in the kit is your Bosch Rotary Hammer Adapter. This is an SDS Max shank and we'll work with any SDS Max compatible hammer drill. So we'll, we'll assemble the kit, show you how to put it together, and then we'll run both, both styles of drill so you can get an idea of how to use both, both options. Okay, so quickly I'll show you how to assemble this. Basically, thread on your top cap adapter to your core barrel. Then from here on out, you have a male-female hex quick connect connection, which is nice. Um, basically, just slide this in, run your pin through, you're ready to go. Uh, the top cap adapter goes in the same way. And that's your basic setup. From here uh, at the top, we're actually gonna use the rotary hammer drill first. So we're gonna thread in this SDS Max adapter. And you're ready to go. So now we're ready to actually lock this into our rotary hammer drill. This SDS Max connection on these drills, you usually have to pull down on this collar. And it'll locking connection so you sometimes have to spin this towards the drop down in and lock. That way when it rotates it can hammer as well. You've got your core collected. You can use this uh, Idaho spoon clean out tool to help assist in actually removing the core. Helps a lot. And then you can re-enter that existing borehole and grab a deeper core. Okay so now if you didn't have a power source available you've got the Echo 410 drill here got plenty of power, two-stroke drill, does not require a power source. You can, uh, you'll have to run a different adapter here. You'll have to run the EA410 adapter, which pins onto the drill, and then simply thread the sampler on. one person or you can have somebody on the other end of this handle and help you run it as well. One of the drawbacks to running a gas drill is that you you lose that hammer function that you have with the rotary hammer drill, but the portability of a gas drill is, is unmatched. So in these soil conditions we're able to use this drill. Um, in frozen soil we recommend that you do run a rotary hammer drill. And again, this Idaho spoon is very handy for ejecting your sample. And that is your frozen soil auger kit. My name is Harry Anestos and I invite you to contact me anytime if you have any questions regarding this kit or you may contact any of my colleagues at AMS anytime. Thank you.